HTC One M8. So charge and not being recognized by the computer at all. Go into device manager and it actually comes up right here, unknown USB device. just keeps doing that. It doesn't matter which cable I use, it just keeps doing it. going to manage and it's not going to show anything I guarantee it nope not even showing unused space I got this from thinking it would last a long time but nope. I said the old HSC M7 seems to be the winner here. Just to show you, I'm not going to cut anything out. I will set the camera down on the computer though. I haven't turned this phone on in a long time, so it's probably going to get 400 notifications, so be worried about it. You can see here that device is installing software, so it's at least trying to be recognized. It is being recognized. There, see? HTC One. Why the newer phone can't do it, I have no idea. Apparently, yeah, that's something to do with HTC Sense 6 because um, I tried to root the device using um, weak sauce, and that did absolutely nothing. It just said root failed. And the reason was because of Sense 6. And as of right now, I don't believe there's any way to go back um, to... Um, What did I say? I don't think there's a way to go back to 5.52 or anything. But yep. Old phone beats a new phone. Usually old game systems beat the new ones. But that's for a good reason. Old games are better than new games most of the time. But here, you'd think new technologies would make the new phone better, but no. Instead, this is cheering out about how good it is. Or something. Maybe after it installs this HTC driver, device unplugged. There is not unplugged, you liar.
TDC cereal. I don't know what that is. And there we go, sink manager and the device. For some reason, um, manager comes up as a CD-ROM, but other than that, it's okay to go. Unplugged from the M7 model. Put down again. Plug into the M8 model. Let's see if installing the drivers onto this one helped at all. Nope. M8 is still saying slow charge. The only time I found that it doesn't do slow charge is if I use this one adapter by ZipLink. The official HTC adapter that came with the phone does a slow charge. This does a regular speed charge. I don't get it, but whatever. Whoa. If you get it, please let me know. Because I can't get any of my videos off of the new phone. Unless I send them to my email or something stupid like that. And if the video files are larger than 25 megabytes, which 100% of the time they are, then they can't send well. So I have to upload them privately onto YouTube, re-download them onto the computer, and then, and only then, can I put them together and edit them. It's absolutely retarded. And there's nothing wrong because it's still charging normally on the other thing. Just that this is being a retarded phone. Woo. The other issue I'm having... Open up weak sauce. Hit I agree. It will say root failure. It doesn't give me any reason how or why. Try to update super user. Nope, it needs to have the binaries that this would install, but it's not going to do it. <sighs> Another news though, I can finally use this. Yep, it's coming soon. See you next time.